Hello, this is me again. Uh, I've been playing around with this board for a bit. I was going to show you the real time clock today, but uh, <laughs> something happened. <coughs> I've been playing around with some PWM music, and uh, my real time clock didn't like the signal in, and something destroyed, I think. But this is how it's supposed to look. You're supposed to be able to see hours, minutes, and seconds here. It worked fine today, I don't know why. Year. Uh, month, date, and uh, the date of the month. Uh, the date of the day of the week. So so far we have the calculator still not functioning. We have the uh, AD graph. So I can actually show you. We like this. You can see. Uh, it writes out, but after it's done, it changes the colors. It's easier to see the previous curve. We can also, if you see here, it sends off there. If we push on, it will uh, draw the curve with different colors. So you can make it like this. Yep, and we can clear the screen, of course. And also, if you see here, uh, this is how many seconds it takes per uh, uh, page to sample. And uh, we can actually change the speed so it will go faster. So, right now it takes zero seconds, but if we drop it up like real real slow it's it says 56 seconds for each page but we don't want to have it that we want to have it like the fast it as it can go so if you, if you see uh, it's many different colors we can we can do it like this actually i um I took this re uh, ear rem uh, remote uh, ear remote sensor and uh, connected to my AD converter, and I could see the sample of the uh, remote controls signals and uh, be able to lock onto it. But now we want to have this in the off position because I'm going to show you something cool later. We can go back. We have the text, and uh, we're actually able to go in to a uh, menu here, and uh, we can change the color. This is uh, 25, uh, 65,000 colors. <laughs> Doesn't show too well on the camera, though. Maybe if I get closer, you can see that it actually changed. many different colors and uh, you have it in binary here and you have it in hexadecimal and this color that we have chosen here now it's almost now it's green uh, very very dark green now it's light now it's almost lime green so if oh, I choose lime green here and go back oh, back and go into the uh, text again it's the color of the background that we just chosen. We have the blue screen, which I have improved with some further more instruction. And also we have a welcome screen. Welcome. Uh, we have the AI tracking, of course. And uh, we have a memory speed test, which I'm not going to show you now because it's taking a long, long time. We have, uh, we can manipulate this. Make it bigger, smaller. It looks like, almost like you're rotating it. And go back. And we have a hardware reset. Oh, well, it's hardware reset made in software. We're resetting 4, 3, 
zero. Welcome. Uh, and just it uh, count menu to show how fast it can count. And oh, we have this page, which show uh, we have currently point two, almost point three millivolts uh, on the channel one AD con converter. So it's zero point three volts, two hundred ninety seven millivolts. And here it is in ten, ten bit uh, results, and this is quantized also channel 2. And here we all have a lot of registers. I was... Uh, I wanted to see the uh, Adcon 1 because of uh, the settings on the analog, analog and digital I ports. And then I just threw out some more registers you could, that could be handy to have. So I can actually manipulate uh, the Adcon 1 uh, register here from my keypad, but I don't want to do this now because then I screw up the analog and digital input and output. Now I just want to go back. Now, uh, well, maybe you want to see and change. Yeah. Now we have 4.931 volts on the AD channel 1. 3 two and a half, two and a half volt. Can go back. And what more do we have? Well, not too much more. It's, uh, mm, well, maybe I will show you what we can do with this E graph here. That we have inside. 50 if you take this down here. Put it on the fast sampling speed and we put in some audio on the channel one connect this to number five and play some tunes in iTunes This is PWM output, but it's no uh, uh, capacitor in the on the wire, so that's why it's a crappy sound. But this should be very very good sound if I had a capacitor. This is Murders. Uh, the song is Murders by John Frusante. This is like crappy sound, so we go back and make it uh, just the CPU gets all the power to music. Coming in from the computer, and this port here, to my AD converter, and uh, into the PIC microprocessor that makes it into a PWM signal, which is output from here. <laughs> 